Leeds United with a 1-0 win against Southampton. What a victory. We needed that so much. We needed that. Because the game was so crucial. In my opinion, before the game, I was like, whoever loses will go down. And I think Southampton are going down. But we're not here to talk about Southampton. We're here to talk about the mighty Leeds United. 1-0 win. Look. Gressy has made us much better. He's made us much better already. You know, you can say he's an in-game manager. And, you know, I like to see that change of these throughout the game. And it worked. We should have scored more today. You know, McKenney missed basically missing an open goal. You know, Somerville by right at the end should have made it 2 0. And the goal we actually scored was. <laughs> it was. It wasn't a great strike, but it doesn't matter. It goes in. A goal's a, a goal. Bazuna should have saved it, but he's obviously unsighted by Bednarek. And Julia Furpo has been very good recently. Very good. Probably been one of our best players, I'd say. And um, he deserved that goal. He deserved that goal. What a player. <laughs> I all, I never doubted Furpo. I always knew he could do it. And I thought the whole team was good. Melly, I didn't have much to do. But he did make that good save in the first half. Which, uh, I think that was like the only thing he had to do. And then like towards the end of the game, Somerville like launched it back to him. And he had to like head it away. Um, which was quite risky, to be honest. But, yeah, I thought Melia was good. Ailing good. The back line was good, obviously. We kept a clean sheet. McKenney was good. Uh, I don't think McKenney was as good as people saying he was. I thought he was good, but, I don't know. I just think he gave the ball away a bit. And, you know, but he was good. Don't get me wrong. Adam's good, as always. Aronson looked better. Harrison was better on the wing, but still, his crossing recently has been... Awful. We can't take a corner. Willie Nonto, been great for us recently. Was good in the first half, but faded away in the second half. And, you know, I didn't agree with taking him off, like, then and there. But it worked, really, didn't it? It worked. You know, it was best for the team. And I said, when it happened, I was like, trust. I'm going to trust Garcia. He knows what he's doing. And we won. Uh, Bamford. I thought Bamford was quite good today. He held the ball up well. He looked strong. And I thought it was one of his better performances this season. But Rutter looked good when he came on, and um, I'd give Rutter a star against Fulham in the Cup. And, yeah, it's like, I think of the difference between today and last week. Everton, the game against Everton, so deflated, you know. You saw my match reaction, I said, we're going to go down, we're going to go down. I can't see how we're going to get back into this a week later. Because I didn't think after the Everton game, I didn't think this board were going to get a manager, or a good manager. Um, and we have got a good manager. And we're 78 in the change. And, you know, the atmosphere is completely different now. So buzzing. So buzzing. And positive. I was absolutely down in the dumps last week. But so positive now. So positive that we can stay up. But I shouldn't get too ahead of myself. It's a step in the right direction. But it is, we have to remember, it is bottom of the league at home. No disrespect to Southampton. Um, but I think you'll go down. Um... We could still go down. A lot of teams could still go down. So we've got to just be careful. You know, next game in the league, Fulham. Uh, <laughs> no, we've got Fulham's our next game in the Cup. And then we've got Chelsea uh, away, which I'm confident about. Uh, which could come back to bite me. But I am confident we can get some up from that game. Potentially even win it, you know. But I'd be definitely happy with a draw. Look at the quality of players I've got. But it's just not working for them this season. Did you know? You could argue they've been playing worse than us recently. With, I mean, with the players they've got, they should be doing way better. So, you know, we can get something from that game. We can. But, yeah, just happy, so happy with the win. I was going mental when we scored. Absolutely mental. You know, this is the high and lows of being a football fan. Sometimes you're sad and sometimes you're happy. But, you know, you got to always stick by your team. <sighs> oh, my God. Just, yeah, ecstatic today, guys. So, thank you, everyone, for watching this match reaction. Sorry, it's not a very long one. But, um, yeah, those are my thoughts. Just basically summed up. Buzzing, but we can't get too carried away. See what can happen next week. And, um, yeah, massive improvement today. Defensively and... 
offensively, I think we're actually better going forward as well. Although we do always get chances in game, but I thought we were better today. And Garcia, give him a few more training sessions. Hopefully, he can make us more clinical. Uh, so thank you everyone for watching. And the massive improvement as well. But we're, sorry, the massive improvement as well with just having one training session is this just shows he's a good manager and he got Watford out of trouble. Hopefully, he can save us as well. But anyway, anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll be doing a match reaction for the Fulham game on Tuesday, which hopefully we can win and we can progress in the FA Cup. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Have a good one. Stay safe. Come on, Leeds United!